definitely going to be uh, lifting that one for you and using it myself. That's a good one. Um, and yes, I, I think you know external attack surface management uh, is something that's been you know long overdue uh, for um, industry coverage from the analysts. Uh, and I, I think of attack surface as just the, the sum of all potential digital doorways into an enterprise, um, and that includes third-party suppliers, partners, cloud services from uh, cloud service providers, work from home setup, everything. Um, and but of course, discovery um, it, that's just the the first step it's a critical step but it's just the first step but you know now that you've got that discovery and in, in inventory which by the way most organizations don't have they have no idea uh, but once you've got that uh, then what do you do with it you, know, you still have to classify and category uh, categorize it by risk level with limited staff and money you have to figure out how to mitigate high risks uh, while reducing your attack surface by maybe turning off unnecessary uh, services or shutting down that shadow id um, but um <clears throat> The fast adoption of things like IoT and cloud services have really made attack surface management imperative. And, and I'm really glad that the analyst community is, is finally taking a look at it. Uh, it's a critically important thing. Um, it is a component of enterprise vulnerability management. Um, but one thing that uh, I think is, is really important for folks to understand is that application, I'm sorry, uh, attack surface management and external attack surface management is something that has to be ongoing and persistent because asset and stats are EASM uh, platform and the results of it to help streamline and focus you know, an application or an internal security testing effort. Uh, and, and we're seeing a lot of organizations you know, lead with, with EASM uh, and how, have that really feed the rest of their security um, maturity and, and their security practices. That's excellent, yeah. Um, the, the, the depth and the breadth that's um, that's really, really important. So where you can get that wide visual view that we really never have had, or, or we've had, but it's been extremely manually intensive. Now we have automated tools that can get us that. So platform, so that's a little bit about me. Thanks, Bakash, appreciate it. I know Bakash pretty well, we work together. He's my boss. <laughs> I have to say that, Bakash, you're the man. Uh, anyway, uh, gotta, we're going to keep this very light today. I do want to say before we get into uh, the discussion about um, external attack surface management, um, the value proposition overall and what the industry is bearing, uh, I'd like to um, do as, as much interaction as we possibly can. I know this is a, we have everybody muted and it's a, it's a webinar type of uh, panel discussion and we're all on Zoom and hopefully one day we're very soon we're all doing this with microphones like the old days and pass it around.